Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Lonnie Mattingly here, coming to you on behalf of the North Harrison Baptist Church with Mid-Morning Manna. Welcome to this Tuesday morning edition. What an exciting day God has given us, and I'm looking forward to serving him today, to maybe have the opportunity to tell somebody how to go to heaven, and uh, we're starting a program to try to reach out to more children, to get children in Sunday school and church and kids club Wednesday night. We have a phenomenal program for the boys and girls. We call it King's Kids. And it's a nationwide program, really. It's in scores and scores of churches, but it's a tremendous program for boys and girls. I want to invite you. Tune in, show up, be here Wednesday night, seven o'clock while you're upstairs in a prayer meeting and preaching service. The boys and girls will be downstairs in King's Kid. Hey, this week we're talking about Jesus Christ, the great I am. Yesterday, we looked at Jesus in John chapter six as being the bread of life. He said, I am the bread of life. Jesus said that. I didn't make that up. Jesus said that. In verse number, uh, or the, on the second session here today, on this Tuesday morning, I want you to think of Jesus who said of, of himself. Now, he said it. I didn't say it. I'm telling you what Jesus said. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I'm going to open my Bible here. By the way, that first one that we talked about there is in John chapter 6, and then today's are in John chapter 8, a couple of verses out of chapter 9 and then chapter 10 and so forth. So you wanna bring your Bible, have it open to the Gospel of John and you'll be able to go right along with us there as we see these things. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Hey, are you tired of stumbling around in the dark in your spiritual life as a Christian? Wouldn't it be good if you were so connected to the Lord Jesus Christ that he could guide you with his light, give you wisdom, the, the light of wisdom, the light of direction, to help you day by day, moment by moment, to make wise decisions, to go to the right places, be with the right people say the right things just yeah, wouldn't it be great Jesus is the light of the world let him light up your life let me give you a couple of other verses in John chapter 8 verse 58 Jesus said unto them verily verily I say unto you listen to this before Abraham was I am Think of that. that. I said yesterday, Jesus is the great I am. And we went back to where God said, you tell them that I am sent you. When Moses wanted to know who to tell him, send him to the king of Egypt, to, to the Pharaoh, to tell him to let my people go. And God said, tell them I am sent you. And uh, now here's Jesus saying, before Abraham was, I am. Listen to what he said in John, that was in John 8, 58. In John chapter nine, verse number five, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And then again in John 8, 58, uh, he said before, I, I, I've already mentioned this one, but I'll say it again because it's in that order. In 8, 58, he said, verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. John chapter nine, verse number five, as long as I am in this world, I am the light of the world. I repeat that again because I feel like it's such an important thing. And now Jesus is in heaven, but he wants to be your light. He's in, in the world in you as he walks with us. He said, listen to what he said. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Jesus said, I'm there with you all the way. And so Jesus Christ, the wonderful light of the world, he is the light of the world. He's not only the bread of life, he is also the light of the world. Jesus said, I am, I am all these things. I, you know what he is? He's everything you need, ladies and gentlemen. He is what you need. If you don't have Jesus, boy, you just don't have anything worth having. And I wanna challenge you to come to him, find out what the Bible says, get it in your life, and turn on the light. Let Jesus be the light of your world. Let him work through you. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the wonderful time we've had today with the precious people that are watching Mid-Morning Manna. I pray, Father, you'd help them to maybe mark some of these verses, to think about it, realize that the Lord Jesus Christ is right here with us, wants to guide us through this old dark world by his light. He is the light of the world, and he's the great I am, and I thank you for him. In his name we pray, amen. Amen. <laughs>